Similarly, the Nigeria Labour Congress and other civil society organizations have staged a protest in Oshogbo, the Oshun State capital, over the lingering economic hardship bedeviling the country. The protesters, who cut across different groups, including the Nigeria Union of Local Government Employees, NOLGE, Nigeria Union of Teachers, Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, JUSUN, among other groups, converged at Freedom Park before heading to Olaya Junction. Toby Sanusi completes the story. With placards conveying messages like enough is enough, let the poor breathe, stop stealing palliatives meant for masses, among other inscriptions, the protesters who trooped out in their large numbers commenced their demonstrations at Freedom Park in Oshubu, the Oshun state capital. <laughs> Later on, the protesters, which include members of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and other civil society organizations, headed to Olaya Junction, where they converged in the middle of the road to press home their demands. <laughs> It would be recalled that the Trade Union Congress, TUC, had earlier pulled out of the protest over failure to make unanimous decision. We were not part of the process of the issue. We were not part of the agreement have been issued, so there is nothing to opt out from at all. Early on Monday, some civil society organizations led demonstrations at Freedom Park, calling for mass participation in a two days protest against economic hardship and high cost of living occasioned by the removal of fuel subsidy and other economic policies by President Bola Tinubu. Before today's protest, which was observed nationwide, NLC's meeting with the federal government late on Monday night had ended in deadlock after the two parties failed to reach a consensus. While addressing journalists, the Ashun State Chairman of NLC, Christopher Arapashupu, asked the federal government to honor the agreement reached with the labor union. Mr. Arapashupu also says the alarming high cost of living and food inflation must be addressed. I want to fall back to the agreement saying that the uh, federal government should do the needful. We are all Nigerians. People are suffering. People are dying. Federal government should... Uh, uh, iron out the issue of high living. Cost of high living in the country is too high. Even if there's food in the market, people don't have money to go and buy it. Even if there's food in the market, if there are foods in the market, uh, they are affected by inflation in the country. What we are saying is, federal government should do the needful and respect and honor the agreement signed by the organized labor and the federal government. The, if federal government fails to listen to Nigerians, to honor the agreement, you know what next? Backing up his submissions, a member of a civil society organization, Ayo Logu, insists that the protest must continue till all the issues are addressed. The federal government has asked Nigerians repeatedly to be patient in the wake of economic hardship, but Comrade Logu maintains that Nigerians have reached their breaking point for the calling for the reverse of unfavorable economic policies. Not listening because enough is not being done to bring people out of poverty and hunger. That is why it becomes very necessary that a confrontation like this should go on. But for me, it shouldn't be just a day thing. How much, how much time can they ask for than they have gotten already? If they are asking time for time for the people to understand with them, what have they shown as signs or commitments that they are understanding the subject of the people? A government that has not called down on the court of governance, a government under who knows the budget of the country was increased from about 170 billion to over 300 and it kept quiet, a government under who knows members of the National, National Assembly are purchasing vehicles worth 160 million, and you're asking for time. If Nigerians must understand, if Nigeria must see with the government that the needful is being done, then the government needs to show empathy, and that empathy can only be seen when there are signs that they are cutting down on court of governance to reflect the suffering of an ordinary Nigerian. Except that is done, they will be asking for two months to ask for time. We have given them nine months. Nobody forced them to take this job. Unlike some previous protests initiated by the NLC that will be cut off die minutes to the commencement, the labor union's talk with the federal government this time around failed to avert the protest. 
Nigeria is battling with high inflation rate that stands at 29.90%, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Foreign exchange crisis, high cost of living occasioned by fuel subsidy removal, insecurity, among other challenges, as some have argued that the country has not had it this bad in previous administrations. However, it remains to be seen what next line of action will be taken by the NLC after the two-day protest which ends tomorrow. Toby Sanusi, Western Spring Television News.